Good morning my loves, welcome back to my channel, my name is Lisa. If you're new around here, welcome back to another vlog. We are just doing a few little bits and bobs today. I've got a little home bargains haul for you. I'm gonna show you what's new in home bargains because they've got Christmas bits in at the minute. I'm gonna take some autumn decorations down and clear the space ready for Christmas decorating because yes, that will be happening soon because I am Christmas mad and I love it. So yeah, I was just getting ready. I've just washed my hair actually. I thought I'd show you how I, how I wave it. I basically washed it and I don't really like it when it's like dead, dead straight. I like it when it's got a little bit of a kink in it. Do you know what I mean? You know, you know what it looks like when you've like put your hair up and then you put it down, it's got a bit of a kink in it. I quite like that look. So I thought I would just show you quickly cause it's already dropped. I thought I'd show you quickly how I do it. Anyway, how are you all doing? This is what I basically do. So I just grab my wide iron straighteners and grab the hair and I just kind of do like a little S shape almost, just wiggle it all the way down the hair. I kind of take smaller pieces. I think it's better if you take smaller bits of hair because if it's too thick, then it won't wave as well. But yeah, that's what I do. I had to wash my hair today because it just makes me feel so much better and I have not been feeling myself recently. I know I've mentioned this a few times before but I never really go into detail of how I'm feeling because I like this place to be a positive place and I know that you come for a bit of an escape sometimes but sometimes I feel like I should just have a little catch up with you really and just tell you how I've been feeling because it's okay to not feel 100% yourself all the time and I definitely have my days when I don't feel myself a lot of the time it comes down to kind of my body image and I've not felt myself since probably having Orlando, so for like five years. Um, I've been on a bit of a journey, up, down, up, down, constantly. Every week I'm like up and down, literally crazy. So I'm on another journey now <laughs> to try and feel a little bit better. I'm currently just trying to get myself into a better mindset when it comes to food. I am very much a comfort eater, a boredom eater, eater just out of because I'm in the kitchen and the cupboards are open. <laughs> kind of eater. So I wanted to talk to you about the scale that I've been using. I've been using this for a few years now actually. It's called Fit Track and it's really great not only for just checking on your weight because I know a lot of people don't like to kind of constantly check their weight and things like that but it's also great for measuring loads of other things. It measures like 17 different things for example like the protein in your body, your water weight and all of that kind of stuff. It's really great and the app is fab too. It tells me things like my BMI, my muscle mass, my protein rate which I didn't even know like was a thing like I didn't even realize that this little machine the scale could actually tell me like my protein right and like how much protein I've got which I'm always lacking in I feel like I don't eat enough protein and that fit track just confirms it to me so I do need to be more mindful with not only what I'm eating but like what the types of food I'm eating as well because in turn it will make me feel better I know protein makes you feel fuller as well so not only does fit track measure all of those kind of fitness metrics like there's loads on there health metrics it also has things like um, workout videos on there yeah, there's like a nutrition log as well so if you want to like log what you're eating you can do that and also i link my apple watch to it as well so it's all on the app so i think I feel like that's a really great way for me to kind of start tracking things more gently and being able to see my progress on there as well because it's so detailed on there. I just feel like it's actually quite interesting. It'll be quite good to see the progress on there visually because I'm quite a visual learner and a visual kind of person. I like to see things happening. So Fit Track is, you know, getting me on my way to feeling healthier, to feeling fitter and feeling happier. So yeah, if you're on a bit of a journey like me as well at the moment and you're trying to feel better in yourself but you need some motivation or you're looking for something to kind of help you along with your journey then fit track is a really great tool that you can use i've got a discount code as well so they've currently got 30 percent off i think at the moment on the website and i've got a discount code that will get you an extra 20 percent off which is amazing i'll leave it all right here or in the description box so you can just kind of click to go and shop i'm going to try and do this for myself there are loads of things i want to do for myself over the next year or so just to make myself feel better and happier so this is one of those things and I know I've been talking about it for a long time now the journey is not just like this is it it goes up down up down this it's just never a straight line and that's just life isn't it although it's not been like the easiest journey so far and at the minute I'm probably at the bottom of the hill uh it can only go up from here can't it so hopefully you're all rooting for me we can do this <laughs> and if you're on the journey too on trying to feel yourself and feel 
more confident and happier, then I am rooting for you to we can do this together. Talking of feeling more ourselves, I'm gonna move on to the next subject I'm talking about, and it's gonna be my teeth. So, this is, you're gonna be like, Lisa, you are mad. Basically, I had fixed braces as a teenager, and um, I think, when was I? I was probably in year like 10, fixed braces, and my teeth were lovely and straight, but I didn't wear my retainers. I feel like so many people, is this, is this sun annoying anyone? So hang on, let me just move it. Yeah, my teeth, I had, a fixed brace when I was a teenager, so I was in year like 10, year nine, year 10, and then I didn't wear my retainers. I was very naughty, didn't like wearing them, so I didn't wear them. And then my teeth kind of all moved back as I become an adult, and then I had children, and when I had Vinny and Renzo, I felt like my teeth moved a lot more. Um, I was a thumb sucker when I was a child, so my teeth were always a lot more forward. After having Vinny and Renzo, I suffered a lot with my teeth, which is quite a common thing when you are pregnant or after having your baby postpartum, you do get, sometimes, some people can get a lot of issues with their teeth, and I did. So when I had Renzo like seven years ago now, nearly eight years, I decided to have another fixed brace. And I did document that journey actually here on YouTube, so you might, be able to scroll back or search for my videos, you'll be able to see Fix Brace, Lizzie Prudhoe, and you'll be able to see the videos there and how my teeth looked before. So they did, they have transformed so, so much since, and they do still look, you know, pretty straight. My teeth have moved again because I've got fixed retainers behind my top and bottom teeth. The top fixed retainer has come away from my teeth. We don't really have dentists here anymore. Like it's literally so hard to get an appointment with the dentist. I've been able to get my hygiene appointments booked in. I've been able to have those regularly. But where my dentist currently is, the dentist I go to, all of the dentists have pretty much left. So it's really, really hard to get an appointment. So anyway, I did get an appointment and basically my top retainer, one of the wires or one end of the wire has come away from my tooth. So the I think they just put some bonding behind it to kind of bond it to your teeth. Anyway, about six months ago now, that came away from my tooth. It's still there currently, but it's just bent and misshapen, so it's not actually doing anything for my teeth. Since that has come away, my teeth have moved even more, and I haven't been wearing my retainers. So, basically, when we moved into our old house, so this is like six years ago now after i had the retainers off a few months later i lost the retainers when i moved into that old house and i never replaced them i should have learned i know literally what am i doing so so stupid so i lost my retainers i went through all of that treatment having my teeth straightened a second time round then i had these fixed retainers put behind my teeth which i didn't have the first time round. so i was a bit like i'll be fine i've got these fixed retainers behind my teeth it's not that important anyway my teeth have started to move again. So because I haven't had this fixed retainer on the top teeth for like six months, properly stuck down, I have really noticed a difference in my teeth and they're moving. And I'm just not, I'm not happy with them. I don't want them to like keep moving because I know how quickly my teeth can move. Like they've gone back so many times before. I don't want it happening again. So I am looking into getting um, Invisalign. I really can't be bothered with it to be honest, but I've been talking about this for like two or three years, like saying I was gonna get Invisalign. So I think I'm gonna go for a consultation and just see what they think. Because I know there's like Invisalign light and there's like the normal Invisalign. I don't know whether Invisalign light might work for my teeth because it, I don't feel like my teeth need that much movement. Look at me from the front, it looks fine. But when I look from side, like this is my bad side here. This is like all starting to move here. It's all starting to move. Like. If, if I was to show you pictures, you'll be able to actually see the difference from when I first had my braces taken off to how they look now. They've moved a lot and I don't want them to keep moving. So I feel like I need to fix it early. I'm gonna go for a consultation, probably maybe before Christmas or just after Christmas, and then we'll see. That's another thing I wanna sort out uh, over the next year or so. So I'm gonna, I'll take you on that journey if I end up doing it. If you've had Invisalign before, let me know. Was it a quick process if you've not had to have much movement? I feel like, I don't know, three to six months should fix them. I don't think I'd need them for very long. I think my fixed braces I had for like nine months and that was quite a lot of movement that needed to be done. That was with a traditional brace though. So we'll see. That is my next mission, my teeth and my weight. So, God. I think definitely as I've got older, I've learned to be a lot, I have learned to be kinder to myself, which is why I'm in this position. Weight is not like the be all and end all but I would like to feel better in my clothes. So that is something I'd like to focus on, my teeth, and that's it. 
that is it. My hair, I feel like I'm really happy with my hair. I feel like with my hair, this has gone so well because it's the only thing I can really easily control. And that's why it's been such a focus for me because I know that I can sort my hair out. Whereas when it comes to my weight, I haven't got the, the um, what is the word? I don't seem to have the willpower these days. I haven't got a wedding dress to get into. I've had all my babies. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just different. But this is like a new phase of life now, I think. That was a long old intro, wasn't it? So let's get into Home Bargains, shall we? I'm gonna show you everything I got from Home Bargains. I'm gonna show you what's new in for Christmas and then maybe take some autumn decorations down. Okay, time to show you the Christmas offerings in Home Bargains today. Here is some gifting ideas for you. Love this, I thought it was super cute. I love the mug. And also they had some really cozy socks which would be great stocking fillers. They had loads of bits for kids and just things to make the house a little bit more fun as well. Love this, again, another great stocking filler. My kids love a bath bomb. I think now is a great time to go and get gifts if you're looking for them because they've got such great stock in at the moment for everyone. Time to check out the Christmas decorations. They had lots of decorations for all sorts of themes. Of course, silver and gold are very popular. They also had lots of red decor as well, which I thought was really fun. I liked this bauble, I thought it was lovely. And I like these, if you're going for more of like that cabin farmhouse look, then that would be cool. I love the pink and red. I feel like this is a great theme for Christmas this year. I feel like it's gonna be a popular one as well. If you've got little ones, they had loads of different arts and craft bits in store. These would be great for Christmas Eve boxes as well, I thought. And also if you've got pets, then they've got lots of Christmas themed pets, especially for cats and dogs. I thought these would be nice for the little cats that we've got. We've got three cats if you are new around here. So yeah, loads of bits. And I also loved this mug. How cute is the gingerbread man? So I'm back from Home Bargains, it's a few days later and I thought I'd show you what I bought when I was in there the other day because I got a few bits. So here is the Home Bargains haul segment of today's vlog. Yesterday was Halloween, the boys had a great time but it fully, fully rained last night. It rained loads last year on Halloween and then last night it rained so, so much. It was the heaviest rain. We all had umbrellas. The boys are like in their costumes, but in their coats. And it was just like, <laughs> so wet, but they had a great time. So yeah, that was cute, but oh, I hope next year it doesn't rain. Um, but anyway, let's get into the haul. First of all, I got some baubles. These look very, um, look quite silvery, don't they, on the camera, but these are gold baubles. And I actually really love this, this color. It's why I picked them up because they're kind of more of like a champagne gold, which is the kind of vibe that we're going to go for this year. We're going to go for like more champagnes, golds, white, a little bit of wood in there, that kind of like more natural um, texture and natural feel. So yeah, we're just going to see how it all comes together. We're getting rid of the red this year and we're going for more of a gold theme. So I thought I would stock up on some golden baubles. We do have some anyway, we've got loads of different baubles, but I thought I would get some of those just to stock up and they were really cheap. I think they were like 4 .99. I got these mini meringues. Um, they're like little strawberry flavoured ones. 
little baby ones which i think just sort of be really nice for um on top of puddings and stuff like you know like on top of like a yogurt and stuff and i got these ones these are i think the vanilla ones as well by fundias is the brand so i got those i just saw them when i was near the till and i thought yeah they look pretty yummy so i got those i also got some tiger balm wild tiger balm so when we're in singapore when we're at the airport they had this whole area all about tiger balm now obviously this is not going to be the original tiger balm i don't think but it was like a really well-known thing there so i'm guessing it's where it originated from not 100 sure but they had loads of like different ones they had ones for like headaches they had ones for like congestion for your joints and all sorts really so um they were like 34 dollars or something and this this was like i don't know 2.99 <laughs> something like that so it's definitely not the one but um, it's a soothing aromatic massage balm for the relief of muscular aches and pains, sprains, insect bites. Also great for use on tired feet and as a warm-up rub prior to exercise. So I thought that would be quite good. Obviously winter's coming up now, colder weather is setting in and I do get, I do suffer with my joints quite a lot. So I thought I would give that a try this year if my joints get sore, touch wood they don't i've been all right like the last year i think i did get like quite bad shoulders last year but my hands have been all right i got some skinny whips because you know got to stock up on those bad boys i went for the double chocolate because they didn't have any other flavors and i also went for the skinny crunch in peanut butter flavor which i thought would be quite nice i've not tried that and i do love a little bit of peanut butter we got some tofifis white ones the white chocolate version love these they're easily demolished in our house this is a limited edition um flavor they must just bring these out every now and again but we've had the white ones before and they're so so good got some tennis balls because our boys use tennis balls a lot when they're practicing uh cricket out in the garden and they're constantly going over the fence in the bushes all over the shop so we're always losing them so got a stock up of tennis balls for the cricket as i mentioned halloween has already been and gone but i thought i would get the boys these chocolate lollies like they haven't got enough chocolates and sweets because oh my god they got so many chocolates and sweets last night their bags are full to the brim i also got the serene bars these are serene screen bars the boys love a serene bar which is really good because i don't feel like they're that bad for them they're a source of fiber low in saturated fats vegan approved um yeah great for the lunch boxes i thought they'd be fun with the halloween theme i have actually bought these previously and they really enjoyed them what flavor is it oh toffee apple they're so good i love a serene bar let's get rid of the other food items whilst we're here we always pick up some flapjacks when we're in there because they're literally like 39p or something ridiculous so we've got four different flapjacks mark really likes these um and the kids like them too so got those and they're just chocolate coated lovely flapjack got some chocolate coins because now it's christmas isn't it halloween is done we can talk about christmas now well i've been talking about christmas since boxing day i feel like i can talk about christmas all year round i got well mark actually picked these up these little nutcrackers how cute are they gold nutcrackers they are tree decorations so i can pop those on the tree i did actually order a gold nutcracker like about this big um which will be coming soon maybe i'll do like a haul of some christmas bits soon because i've been gathering over the last year just some a few christmas bits here and there and i've just ordered a few little bits online today because i feel like i want to be organized this year i'm always like yeah i'm gonna be organized and then i just have a bit of a mad rush because you know what we're like we like to decorate quite early we generally decorate like mid-november so keep an eye out for the christmas videos because they're coming i feel like people are already doing christmas videos i'm always late with things this year i barely decorated for autumn didn't bother with an autumn decorating me video really i don't think i think i showed you some bits that i had but i didn't even put it all out not doing that with christmas no way jose christmas is starting early i feel like i'm actually gonna start decorating early like getting bits out earlier and earlier just because if i do it all in one day that's just too much i need to tidy all of the autumn decor away um and then we can start afresh for christmas so anyway my camera battery oh my god uh, this is just opened in the bag that is so annoying i bought a flash spray wipe done and look at that it's emptied in the bag unbelievable sugar plum delight <laughs> not really a delight now it's all in the blooming bag god's sake let me go sort that out my battery is literally running out anyway i'm gonna go charge the battery 
sort this out and I'll be back. I can't believe that happened. It's literally all over my carpet. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to dry it now. Everything in the bag's literally drenched now, but there wasn't that much left in there. I had some Christmassy kind of wipes, like multi-purpose wipes. I also had a shower gel, this one here, by Trop well, Tropical Coconut and Shea Butter, original source shower gel. This is like a really big one. What else do I have in there? Oh, and just some like little air fresheners for the car. So yeah, that's everything that I got from Home Bargains. I'm gonna go clean up this mess now. And then I think later on we're gonna tidy up all of the autumn stuff away. Should we do that? I think we should. Prep for Christmas, why not? Right, so this is how we're looking in the living room. So I need to get rid of these little decorations that I had out for Halloween. Take all of this stuff off as well and put these away. I think I might leave these lanterns out, you know, because I quite like them for Christmas. Um, but the flowers and things like that can go away. going to take these away for now but aren't these so pretty they're from um tesco's and they light up so cute i've got two of them that's pretty much everything away it looks pretty bare now i need to get some bits to put back up here but i'm going to clean it all first wipe everything down before i go do the school run i've left this candle out here because this is just nice and cozy and i feel like it's an all year round kind of candle everything is gone from around here and down the bottom there so it feels a lot clearer i feel like we need a bit of minimalism before christmas comes along because this is going to be completely full at christmas so i do have a couple of other bits that i need to put away that are currently in here got some of these um pumpkins uh how many have i got in here oh only those two in there so i just need to grab those out and then i need to think of some other things to refill these shelves with Gigi is just having her little sleep here this is her spot isn't it Gigi? i think i'm going to leave the vlog there but thank you so so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and i will see you all in my next video bye guys okay.